This is a demonstration of my emergency kill switch. Here's our reservoir, or well, where the water is. Goes in that pipe. Just fix this. Goes in that pipe. And then out that pipe. Now that's a light sensor. When that's activated, it will stop the pipe from pumping. So let me just fill this up with more water. Alright, I'll just do it manually in here so you can see what happens. Yep, there's there it goes. The water sensor has been activated, which c cuts off that line and stops the pipe from pumping. So if that was actually filled up high enough with water and filled that up all the way, and that's the cutoff point. So that way you know when you're underground. Well, if you have this underground, you'll know when it's full up, filled up and you have to open the next section or make it bigger. So thanks for watching, now I'll show you how to do it. First of all, just create a box. Does it need just a box to hold some water? And everything in my hot bar is what you're gonna need. So I'm just gonna fill this up. Alright, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is put a pipe in the water and bring it out into another hole. This is where you're going to be storing the runoff water or wherever your water is coming from for example my water is there goes down the pipe and stores in a big container under the ground alright I'm gonna dig this out alright it's all digged out with the help of world edit I'm just gonna place the pipe to a pump to fill this hole and for just now, we're going to make it smaller. Now, place a water sensor where you want the cutoff point to be. So, I'm going to put it here. And I'll do it on the other side. Put it there. Alright. Next thing you want to do is go behind the pump, place some redstone, and then take this to a control point. I'm going to just make a fake desk like this. You'll also need levers, or if you want to make a T flip flop, you can. Then we place the lever there, place redstone and the block it's on, and then place this to the pump. Now the pump's turned off. I'll just break the line so I can show you. The pump is turned off right now, and if I flick that, the pump is on. So now what we need to do is break the current when the water sensor is activated. So we'll just fix this. And no, uh, we'll just leave it for now. So we don't have a mess. So from your water sensor, you're going to want to build a 
tunnel to the line of the thingo pump like this and right here we're going to put a block and then behind that block we're going to put a repeater that way the current travels through that block and keeps them going now we're going to put a sticky piston here go like this so now if we turn on that so put a repeater behind the sticky piston it is currently on but when this water sensor is activated it will be turned off I can find a lever place right so I'll just turn this on show you what happens so if the water sen sensor was activated we'll push the block meaning the power is cut off and the pump wouldn't be able to pump water and you won't overflow so that's how you make the emergency kill switch so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe I'll be doing lots more finite liquid tutorials so stay tuned thanks